The Alps Toy Company, they showed at Nuremberg for many, many years, and they had a wonderful range on their stand of automata, battery-operated and wind-up ones. They're a Japanese company, and their quality was just superb. Here's two examples that I'm going to show of tin toys they produced in the 1990s, 20 years ago. It was their, really their salute to the world of the tin toy. The packaging was superb as well. But there's one, and here's a little mate to go with it. Two little backwoodsmen, I suppose, from America. They don't do very much, but what they do is very slow and very charming. I'll turn them on and we'll see what happens. Oh, he's starting to smoke a pipe, and he's starting to drink with his whiskey. Glug, 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 and puff, puff, puff. Notice how slow it is. Nothing's going to happen very fast here. This is all the world of the perhaps 19th century they're trying to reproduce. So the time scale is quite low, it's quite slow. Now he put his pipe down and he starts to read the book. His head goes from side to side. He finished his whiskey and he's now preparing to do some chopping of wood with his axe. But they'll just take their time over what they're doing. I don't think there were more than about four items in this series, but I thought that these two were particularly sort of an epitome of the world of tin toys. Should give them a name, really, shouldn't I? Glug, 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 puff, puff, puff. And they take their time.